Hi, my name is Isaac Abeku Blanson, and I am the chair of the speech communication department and an associate professor of public relations. It's, uh, th that, you know, being a faculty advisor also allows me to really understand the mindset of, of today's students. So that when I am trying to give examples in my classes, illustrations in my classes, I can really tailor those examples to the students that we have. Because in many cases, faculty are far removed from students, whether in age, in experiences, in backgrounds. And so, so it's a way for me to really get closer and connect to the students in a way that I think it would, it would not be possible outside the classroom. So these, to me, are, I believe, are the two most important advantages for me as a faculty advisor. Right. Now, it is important that sometimes I allow my student organizations to, to really make mistakes because that's what it is. It's a learning moment for them. And so even though they are benefiting from my guidance, I am also giving them some leeway to do their own thing, which will mean sometimes making mistakes. And that's okay because they learn from that experience. So yes, I believe students uh, benefit greatly and these are some of the benefits that I have seen. Interactions, like I said earlier, the interactions with the students exposes me to things that I probably wouldn't know. Uh, for example, what are their lifestyle, what are their thinking, what are their you know, life experiences, you know, what is their world like. I get to hear a lot about that. I get to know a lot about that just by interacting with students at that level. And so when I'm teaching in my classes, I need to find examples that is at their level, you know, examples that speak of, 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 of uh, their life experiences. And so that interaction really exposes me to those kinds of things. And so I bring those in my classes. Now, the other is get involved. You know, if you're a faculty member, get involved in the lives of the students. They learn a lot from us, we learn a lot from them. Uh, my name is Duff Robel. I am with the Department of Speech Communication. I am an associate professor. I've uh, been here about 15 years now. What I like about this is that it gives me an opportunity to meet uh, really high caliber women from a lot of other majors. Um, they're from all over campus and these are probably students I wouldn't ordinarily get to meet. Um, and so it's, it's nice to get to know them and do it outside of the context of a classroom, too. So in, in some ways, it gives me access to uh, their professional goals and interests and things like that. Um, so I, I guess it's just been very eye-opening and, and, and helpful for me. Really nice for me to hear the concerns and the interests and the motivations and all of that kind of stuff from non-majors because uh, it, it, you tend to get pretty insular. Um, it, when I see non-majors, they're freshmen, they're in the, the basic courses. And so they haven't really thought a whole lot uh, realistically at this point about what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. Um, juniors and seniors have, but by the time I see most juniors and seniors, they're my own majors. And so I've really enjoyed getting to know juniors and seniors that are in different areas. Um, and I can bring that information into my classroom. And uh, I think you might want to start like I did, which is advising uh, a smaller organization that's somehow connected to your discipline uh, and see how that goes. And then if you like that, then you can look around for some of the larger organizations and, and work with them.